AFTV 6 0 to the Arsenal. What more can I say? You, you, you can't ask for no more than what they've done tonight. No, look, absolutely not. And I think, you know, getting as many scorers on the score sheet as we did today is also very positive uh, going into the big games that we've got going forward. Um, I think a few of us have said, and I said personally myself, that the last few games, attacking-wise, didn't seem like it was clicking, didn't seem like we knew what we were doing, seemed like we were a little bit off the off the pace a little bit. Um, and it seems like Arteta and the front five took that personally, and they went out today and, and, and really put that, put that team to the sword in the first half. Um, when you go in five at half time, you probably do want a couple more in the in the second half. So, it was is that the only disappointing thing that they didn't put like an eight nine yeah. or do you just look at it and say, listen, job done, bigger things to concentrate on at the weekend? Six is incredible, but mm. when you go in at five, when you go in at five, you, you're asking what what the second half is. It was professional fundamentally. We kept a clean sheet, which is one thing that we don't sometimes do here. Um, we saw at the end. I think it was Gabriel made a massive block. Yeah. Uh, get, gets up, starts roaring, starts cheering, and again that's like, that that shows you just how much those sorts of those clean sheets mean to the boys. Mm. Um, because actually, it's, it, it's massive. Um, we had one at the weekend as well, so you want to keep that clean. You want to keep that run of clean sheets. You want to keep that because defensively we have been absolutely solid. We've what we've la lament lamented or kind of been questioning is where we've been going forward. And actually today, like I said, I think they took that personally and went out today and just put that team to the absolute sword. Yeah, you know we talk a lot about attacking. We talk a lot about fluency, but if you are to go far in a competition like this, is defence the key? Is that why, you know? Arsenal have bought in a Declan Rice. Is that why, you know what I mean, keeping clean sheets? Because that's what makes you win cup competitions, isn't it? It's not always, you know, you, you, you ain't got to go out and blitz teams. You just got to go out and win games. Yeah, yeah. Look, I think, if we, you know, growing up watching, the, the, going through the George Graham era, that was why we were so defensively so solid. Um, I, mean, I think there's one season where we conceded 18 goals in, a, you know, in, 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 in the league and like, that always stands out to me, even even though I was a kid at the time because you look mm. at that and Jose Marino when he was coming was, through some of his sides 16, size, 16, 16, 16, yeah, 16 yeah, goals. Yeah, and Jose Marino did, did exactly the same. You know, his side, they, they didn't concede goals. They weren't necessarily the most attacking and the most fluid, but we've got that brilliance that they, that, that side maybe didn't have. And I, I think Dan Potts said it earlier, you know, as much as I sat, sat here and just said you know, the front five stood up and did, did, did their job, Rice was incredible today, mm. absolutely phenomenal. Like, the amount of counter-attacks he stops because he just sniffs danger early, he gets his foot in, he forces play, you know, he makes play predictable, he forces it backwards, get, allows us to get back into our shape. Like... You don't have that in the side, you know. If we've lost Partey. You're then asking Jorginho and El Nenny, for example, to come mm. in and start rotating and and, and and doing a job between them, and it's just not the same. Right? It's not the same. And again, with Rice being in there, you don't even need Zinchenko in the middle of the park in in quite the same role. So he doesn't necessarily need to play. He can come off. You don't mm. look in the second half and go, "Oh, we, we look like we haven't got Zinchenko. We can't control the game. We can't do this. We can't do that." That's that's how good Rice is, and that mm. that speaks volumes. And I think fundamentally, when it gets to February, April, um, so February, March, April, we'll start we'll start seeing that, and we'll, I think that's when we'll start to see that how well we are doing defensively is what's keeping us in that in that tie. And if we start to learn to love keep clean sheets, we'll go all the way. It, not just in this competition, in the league as well. I think fundamentally in the league, towards the end of the season, we started giving away sloppy goals, started conceding goals, West Ham, mm. Liverpool, Southampton. That doesn't happen with Declan Rice in the side. Doesn't happen with him in the side.